Just a little bit more. Good morning, morning, or afternoon, depending on your time zone. Hope everybody's doing all right. Let's see. Give me a second. I want to set up a uh, push to talk, or not a push to talk, but a push to mute on this. for any uh, <laughs> bodily sounds that come from me. Let me see if I can try one more option before I push to mute. Okay, let's do you. Fly. And let's see. Hello. Hello. Nope. 
All right. Okay. Enough of that. Get rid of that. Get rid. Bump this up. Because I remember last time that this actually controls just about all volume sliders. That's kind of loud. Okay. All right. So a new job. This one is by the Fractured Glass Company. You know, also known as the developers of the mod. And again, I find it very disingenuous that they have uh, developed a game and called it a mod. But, you know, I'm not going to let that diminish the amount of work they put into this. Bridgeport. I go by many names in this city. Outlaw, rogue, thief. The few people who know me call me Corbin. My job is to acquire valuable items for the rich. Sounds easy. But these items are usually owned by someone already. Someone who doesn't want to part with them. Luckily, I'm quite good at what I do. Tonight I'm meeting someone who wants to hire me for a job. I don't know the details yet, but an associate of mine has vouched for him, and the message managed to pique my interest. I'm supposed to meet my contact in a courtyard south of Canterbury Tavern. Canterbury is popular with wealthy travelers, and it just so happens that a Lord Rothwick is staying there tonight. I'm told he has a purse full of very expensive rubies with him. I've decided to arrive in the area a little early and engage in a bit of burglary. A tavern won't have the same level of security as a private estate, and it shouldn't be too difficult to find what room Lord Rothwick is in. The guest names are in the registry. I can help myself to that purse and still meet my contact in the courtyard on time. Not bad for a night's work. I've booked a room near the tavern. The sun is down, my gear is ready, and the city awaits. It's time to begin. Not bad. It's not it's not quite Garrett levels of like kinda like that snarky undertone of just like, you know, ugh, nobles, because he I mean he works for them, but still pretty good for what everything that's given. Find at least four hundred loot. Veteran. Uh, this is not optional, this is the required. Oh, buy equipment. Buy equipment. Ooh. All right, so I start with compass, lantern, spyglass, short sword. So literally nothing. So let's get a couple of these and a noisemaker. Yeah, there's no there's no rope arrows available. Nice. I did notice sadly that most of the fan made missions are not campaign oriented which is what you'd expect out of something like a thief game so this like that means like this equipment screen where you can purchase from a you know pool of items is not not in most of them i have seen a few of them with that so those might be like really nice days to just go through a really long set of missions but for today these are supposed to be kind of short and sweet falling on hard Onto hard surfaces can make a lot of noise. Consider using moss arrows to cushion your fall. Ah, yes, tips. Tips and tricks. Mmm. Look at that splash image. Beautiful. Shadows are crisp as shit. God. I'm gonna have a hard time not fucking, like, gushing over this game. Like, it's, it's not quite... Thief 1 and 2, but damn if it doesn't scratch the itch for it. The back alleys of Bridgeport. You can get almost anywhere on scene, if you know your way through the maze. Alright. Do I have a... I don't even have a map of the area. Damn, dude. That's rough. See, the 
miracle. The statue of St. Lucia weeps for us all. A true miracle in our times, soon to be confirmed by the Archbishop himself. The church welcomes your donations to prepare for the visit of his eminence. By order of the Lord, Mayor, loose bowels are this first sign of the cholera morbus. Call immediately for a doctor. All sick room bedding and clothing must be burned. All cholera dead must be burned 12 hours after death by order of law. Imagine, like, actually putting all this time- Oh, shit. Hey, what up? Hold up. And then, R. Ward, 5,000. Damn, dude, that's a hefty, hefty fucking thing. Dead or alive, I can't. Age, 19. Ooh, this dude's young. You're not that good if they have, like, all this information on you. Ooh, Baldwin's Herbal Blood Pills. Blackheads, pimples, blotches, boils, scurvy, irritation of the skin, bad legs. Six or one... It's a six, six gold per one box. Food not works. What? Oh, man, these are just plastered everywhere. Oh, price of six... Yeah, so six for six per box. Okay. Ooh. One for the murder of various individuals. Six. Ten thousand. Subject is armed. Do not approach. <coughs> Fucking excuse you. I'm reading here. This man committed heinous crimes against our law and is wanted for the slaughter of innocents. Okay, that's fair. Whatever. Hi. Hey, how you doing? so weird that there's a lean forward, but I kind of appreciate it. I just have to remember to use it. I doubt there's going to be any money in these alleyways as well, though. But, you know, I only, I have, the expert collection of money was 640 gold, so it might be kind of tight. And it is optional, so they kind of, they might expect you not to be able to, um, you know, easily find it all. Oh, what the hell? I'm supposed to get up there, but I'm not quite sure on the how. Maybe this. Damn, dude. Rough. Maybe I need to stack stuff. Of interesting how they implemented the mass though so the reason i'm going so slow with these is if you turn too quickly it won't follow and you can possibly like lose your grip on it it's kind of like um i think how boneworks did it nowadays oh fuck for their uh for their vr can like different things kind of modify how you grab shit <clears throat> there we go So yeah, like if I grab, I don't know, I grab any of this shit, no. If I grabbed like this broom or something, it would be a lot easier to move around, because it would be a lighter object. The city watch makes the main streets a lot riskier. Even regular citizens might raise a hue and cry if they see someone dressed like me. 
Oh, good to know. The old man says the builders are harassing the girls behind the inn. Says it's bad for business. What does he want us to do about it? Builders don't carry those hammers for decoration, you know. They'll bash your skull right quick. And who's going to stop them? Oh, shit. You think a church court will hang one of their own? We ain't gonna wrap them in knuckles. That's what they'll get. And then we're back on the streets by breakfast. The city needs to put a stop to it. You let a dog roam free in the kitchen long enough, and soon he thinks he owns all the food. <laughs> I definitely What's that something? over there? Oh, that's not good. You didn't hear shit, fam. There's nobody here. Just a man reading a newspaper. Whatever. Hmm. The Bridge Report Review. Miracle at St. Roderick's. Mill Street, February 17. Several pen penitents have reported a miracle at St. Roderick's Church. A statue of St. Lucia has been seen to wet tears of blood on multiple occasions. Many witnesses have reported that they have seen this with their own eyes. While the cause is not known, the faithful are certain it is a sign from the master builder himself. The Archbishop of Bridgeport has been called upon to confirm the miracle and plans to visit St. Roderick's shortly. In the meantime, many worshippers are going to the tiny church to pray for healing and good fortune. Traders attacked by savages. Flake Bridge, November 12th. A group of traders two days east of Flake Bridge were attacked by savages. Many men were slain and injured, and their goods were taken. The builder roads surrounding Flake Bridge Monastery have not been maintained or guarded for years, and attacks by tribes of savages have increased in recent months. Travelers are encouraged to avoid them, and traders to move their goods by boat. Um, blood of light. I am not straining my eyes to read that. Sorry. Right, seems the guards moved on, and I can grab these. you to mess with me oh you didn't see anything whoa good trick drop that weapon don't move Shit, how do we get down from here? Seems like this is the best option. It'll go a lot better for you if you just surrender now. Listen, I'm just here for We're swag. Find you, you We're know. going to find you, you know. We're going to find you, you know. I'd make a perfect guard. I can do all sorts of goofy voices. Like, hey, have you ever had wanted Mickey Mouse to search you down? Uh -huh. I know you're somewhere around here. Uh -huh. a lot better for Get you out of the shadows, you little wimp. Uh -huh. He's got to be around here huh. somewhere. See, I'd be a perfect guard. Who the fuck are you? You look, uh... You actually look kind of bitching, actually. I'm not gonna lie, like that. You got some drip, dude. Are those fucking timbers? We've got an art criminal on the loose. Hmm. Yo, look That's at those. Right. This man, this man's styling. Like, how are you guys' shoes? Perhaps you didn't lose nothing. Get your weapon ready. We got an armed criminal on the loose. I don't know. Yours look a little Show shoddier, but like, you know, you still got some nice boots. Going to find 
find you. We're gonna find you, you know. Come on, patience. It'll go a lot better for you if you just surrender. Where are you hiding, you tar? Nothing a pickpocket? Okay. Alright, let's uh let's actually get out of this area. Where are you hiding, you tar? You're going to dump my pay for this. I probably should have waited until the coast was clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any swag? Nothing hiding? Okay. Since apparently they're gonna hide rings up in bird nests, I need to make sure I traverse any high high areas to get some money. You didn't see shit, fam. I don't think that's a climbable rope. Rats are inverted, I suppose. There's some bottles. I can use those as distractions. Sadly, I can't, like, carry a couple with me. I mean, I could carry one in my hands, but I might get a little awkward. What the fuck is that? That looks like a leaf, I guess. I need you to turn around. God damn it. He didn't give a fuck. If you see any trouble, report it. There we go. I'm gonna keep this one with me. You can't escape. Don't think you can hide for long. Ooh, there, there's water arrows in there. Hmm. Keep them distracted for a moment. I want to redo this. I, I, I want to do this better. I'm a, I'm a bad noodle. Like this is this is such a simple area that I really shouldn't be flopping it this hard. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna exercise patience. So I want those water arrows. In the kitchen long enough, and soon he thinks he owns all the food. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to save scum as little as possible. little crevasse to I think get closer to the inn. This first real quick. I 
probably should just keep the spyglass equipped. Nothing shiny in there. Okay, back basically back to what I was doing before, which is going up here, collecting the ring from the nest. Noisy surface. He heard that. That's okay. Is he gonna come and investigate? No. Seems like he he heard it, but it was not enough to warrant an investigation. Okay, so hop back down. Actually, let's go this way. Because there seems to be a bottle up there as well. That I can utilize. Excuse me. And, and excuse all the loud, noisy trucks. Alright, so I see a ledge. Kind of on this side? Alright. Okay. loud. Okay, I don't think anybody was nearby to uh, notice or care. All sorts of closed doors. Yep, so this is the opposite side. Oh, yo, more broadheads. Not really useful for me, but... So I don't intend on killing anybody. The dark mod. There's the tavern. That guard in front is a problem. I need to distract him and find another way in. How do you tavern? You mean tapper? Oh, how do I do? I do pretty well. How are you, bud? I know I'm a, I'm earlier playing today, so you can actually hang out a little bit. It's th that's it's where I'm supposed to meet my contact. Looks like he's not here yet. Ooh. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, because today I need I have I have things I need to do in the evening, so I can't like futz around and uh, screw my day off. Let's see anything I can climb? Is it possible to get up here? Doesn't seem super likely. Yeah, you got it, bud. And thank you. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, this mo this game doesn't put you to sleep. Because this is in the vein of Thief. So, it's a slow-paced sneak em, sneak em up game. You know, I, you, we have a lot of game overlap, but I'm not, I'm not going to assume you know everything that I'm playing. You know, it's bad, bad practice. All right, so this guy, it's not a problem. This guy, I mean, he is what he is, and I could actually slip behind him and get to the doorway. Um, but these two wandering about are the main problem. I've got bottles over there if I do need to distract them, but I can kind of just sit here and let them repath back to the other segment of the road. Where am I? 
But yeah, do you know what the Dark Mod is? Which is, you know, what I'm playing. And if so, have you actually gotten to play it? So I would recommend it if you yeah. haven't. So yeah, it's a um, it's a spiritual fan made successor to Thief. They call it a mod, but it's bas they basically rebuilt an engine to play like Thief. I don't remember what they based it on though, <coughs> but they did. They I think they re recreated the feel. They don't have the goofy voice acting, but just about everything else is perfect. Well, so it's not technically a mod. You can download this game for free and play it normally like a game. So you would just boot it up and you're good to go. What's up? See anything now? Yeah, um, I'd recommend it. it. It's super tight. Like the the developer made missions have all been fantastic. This is this is one of the beginner ones that they write. So I, I kind of played them out of order last night or not last night a couple days ago. I did the painter's wife, which is like a quote unquote fan mission, but the developers made it and then they uploaded it as an optional piece. Whereas this one, a new job, and then the the next one is like Saint Lucia's Tears or something are both. Um, they're beginner, kind of like short missions to kind of get people tuned to the game. And they've all been great. Yeah, this, this, this fucking thing that you're looking at is free. And it looks pretty good for what it is. So some of these doors do have entrances. So I have a feel this um this mission is very reminiscent of the tutorial mission in actually Thief Deadly Shadows or you know Thief 3. Because you're breaking into a tavern, a local, you know, hobnobbler is vibing there. He's got some holla holla on him, and you just gotta take it. It's a short it's a, it's a small job, but you know, it's worth a little bit of money. But yeah, no, there's there's a few things that they kind of did different. So, for example, like this interaction, this is um this is physic actual physics, like it'll bonk into shit. I can also rotate it if I hold middle mouse button. I can interact with things like so that bread, you don't store it in your inventory like you do the other thief games. So you right click it to pick it up, and then you hit R to interact with it. It's a nice, it's a nice little system. Um what else? Oh yeah, the lock picking that one. That's not as brain dead. You actually have to kind of time listen in time for when you hit the when it gets to the sweet spot, and then you left click. 
No. Alright, I think I'll do. do down here is. Yeah, the elevator. He's going to jump out at any minute. I just know it. Wonderful. Please don't hurt me. Hey, you're the house protecting the museum. I wonder what those curved swords would be like in a fight. They fight by summoning genies. What do they do, huh? Rub a lamp? And winds. They can summon really, really strong winds. Oh, sure. <laughs> Better make sure the washer wench doesn't pick a fight with one on long then. Cheeky git. supposed to be lit. So, did you get a look at them? What did you think of the quality? It must get much worse. Nah. Why is it so dark in here? Why Queen's John Smith newspaper. Oh, the breakfast room for Rothick. Expensive wine. Incense burner. Use of safe. Oh. Huh? As long as they don't get up, I don't care. I'll have to relight it later. <sighs> you turn out the lights. Thing shiny up here. I would love to rob those two, but they're like in so much light. Might have to distract them. Oh, this is the fucking dude's room. Shit. Okay. Well, here's what I can do. Despite the fact that that should be loud as shit. Get any other thing 
things I can toss around, my dude. I was kind of expecting that key to be a little more valuable or, you know, to actually have something on his desk. You know, he's fucking around out there. One second, let me just check this out. I'm gonna keep this with me. Stairs, as long as there don't make too much noise up here. I mean, it's an empty room. I'm, doubt I'm doubting I'm going to get anything out of this unless somebody's left something behind. Guard. This must be my lucky day. Use this if I need to distract them. I'll put this painting as a cockeyed. Whatever. Alright, so he does rotate. Okay. So let's sit here for a moment and see how long we get. Because if he turns around that way, I probably can pick the lock to the door pretty quickly. Shame I ran out of water arrows already. The fact that I missed one when I kind of needed it. pockets. Hmm. 
Not much. A little bit, but not much. I hate this city. Such and stench everywhere. Not only do thieves hide in the dark alleys, but they come out of the very sky. I was walking by a transmitter tower next to the tavern this morning when a damn magpie swooped down and saw a ring right out of my hand. Ralph just stood there like a dolt as the bloody bird mocked me from up in the pipes above the street. I should get Ralph a bow. This is supposed to be a safe neighborhood, but I saw two moors on the street outside last night. People seem to think they are here with that ambassador, but... Those two looked like they were up to no good. They were following a well-dressed man down the street. They obviously didn't want him to know it. How am I supposed to feel secure with that kind of thing going on? The innkeeper has put my jewels in an iron safe in his room. Oh, he wouldn't tell me the combination. When I asked him what would happen to the contents if he forgot what it was, he just laughed and said when that happens, he goes and gets drunk at his workbench. What an odd fellow. Yeah, you got it, bud. No worries. Whenever you get back, it's all good. If it weren't for the fair tra trade fair of the Inventors Guild, I wouldn't leave Brayden. But the devices they had on display were a wonder to behold. Lanterns that could follow behind you and light up the streets? Truly a marvel. Tis a shame Bridgeport keeps these wonders for itself. All their blueprints are in code, and any inventor that tries to leave the city is executed. I suppose Bridgeport would have fallen to her enemies long ago without those inventor machines guarding the harbor. 
so I cannot fault their caution. I'll be leaving in the morning, glad of it. All right, these ends in the safe. He said he goes, goes and gets drunk at his workbench, so that would be down, back downstairs. <coughs> I think that man on the left is a coin purse. Huh. Ooh, fuck, that was... Off with her. I've seen worse. Great, I'm glad. Why are you debating whether you should have your name be Goku? I'm trying to sneak around this inn and uh, get money, acquire currency, if you will. And the joke is not getting caught.
Lord, fine lady. Oh, 162. be busted AI. Like, if you're gonna be jank, I'm gonna be jank. Uh, she's just a civilian. No, I will not strangle her. Well, that's a shame that you think she's annoying. Still rough, but um, cool. This again. I know where my escape path is, though. Let's put some oil on that later. What's up? If you'll follow me, we can talk about the details. That was weird. Statistics. One dealt. I dealt damage. One pickpocketing. I missed 30 gold. That's fine. 31 suspicious, 7 searches, 1 sighting. Maybe. I mean, I did throw objects, so I might have hit somebody. 